Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and for Video Magical. And here we are in Final Cut Pro. So generally when I'm using Final Cut Pro, I will select the bit of video clip that I want. So maybe I want to have an endpoint here and move it over and have an, uh, an out point there. And then I'll just move the timeline to where I want it to go to. So there I might have that go in there. I'll just press the W key and in it goes. That's nice and easy. Or maybe instead, let's just uh, do a Command Z on that to get it out again. Or sometimes what I'll do is I'll press the Q key and it puts it in there as a uh, clip which goes over the top. So that goes in there as a connected clip. Okay, so you've got that selected there. Then what you can do is press the E key. And what the E key does is to append it to the end of your video. Now the other tool I tend to use quite a bit, if I'm not using the select tool, which you get by pressing the A key, then the other key that I might press to use one other tool would be the B key, which is the blade tool. So the blade tool is there so that if I want to put a cut into a clip that's already in the timeline, and then I'll go back to the A key again, and then I'll use the select tool. I can easily trim the video clips, either going to one side of the break or the other, and it's very easy to do. Most time, that's generally all I do. But there are some times when what you've got is you've got a video that has to be that length and no longer. You can't make it any longer. You can't make it any shorter. It's just got to be that and that's it. So in those cases there, then there are other tools where you can do some slipping and some sliding. Now, on this one here, we've got a bit of a uh, clip there. And we've got the boat sort of going across the screen. But what if I want the boat to actually start coming across the screen a bit sooner, but do it without increasing the length of the clip? Well, what I do instead is I press the T key to get to the trim tool. And what I can do is if I press and hold down and I can move the clip across within the space, choosing a new start point and end point. How easy is that then? So what I'm going to do now is where the boat enters just after behind that boat there, I'll have that as my starting point. And now I can play that, I have the boat starting in a different place. Sometimes what you might want to do is instead is to keep the clip exactly as it is, but adjust the clips on either side of it. So if I'm using the same tool there, which I've pressed the T key to get to, if I press the Option key now, I can move that to the left and to the right. And if I'm moving it to the left, it's basically cutting stuff from the back of the clip that's previous and adding more to the clip to the right. And if I go far enough, I can cut that first clip out completely. You can change the clip in a couple of different, two different ways there, one by slipping it, another one by sliding it. A slipping and sliding, a moving and a grooving. Let's go back to this one here where we're doing some slipping. And see I've gone over to the right there, and what happens is, is I've uh, got a red on the left hand side there, which means I've bumped into the edge of the clip, which I can't go any further. So there you go, we've got some slipping and sliding there, and it's very easy to do that using Final Cut Pro 10. The other thing I'll show you is that this one here is the, uh, the ending titles for my videos here on YouTube, and this was made using Motion 5. What I wanted is I want to have a subscribe button that did a bit of a spin, so let's play this and watch this spin. Took me a little bit of a while to work out how to do this, but I managed it in the end. So you can see I've got the spinning happening there, I've got some movement happening with the text as well. It's a behaviour I've added to that. I did the spinning using keyframing. That was the easiest way to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little video showing you exactly what I did and how I got this. So there you go, that's a few more things that you can do with Final Cut Pro 10. Bye bye now.